All right, before we finish up this section, there are a couple of things I would like to point out. One is about the performance of Data Tables plugin. So currently, our Data Table gets all customers from our API and stores them internally to do its pagination, searching, and sorting. Now, this approach works well when you have a few hundred to roughly about a couple of thousand records. Of course, this is subjective and depends on the size of objects you return from your API. In our customer's API, each customer object has only a few properties. But if you returned a fat customer object, I would say a thousand records would probably be the highest limit to do pagination, sorting, and searching on the client efficiently. So if you're returning a large number of objects from your API, you would better do pagination, sorting, and searching on the server. And of course, this means you have to explicitly implement these features on the server side. And then in your data tables, you enable server-side processing. Now, this is really beyond the scope of our ASP.NET MVC course, and you need to read about it yourself. I just wanted to give you some direction. Another point I want to discuss is this JavaScript code we have written here. Currently, we don't have proper separation of concerns in this code. Some parts are for the view. Other parts are about data access, like this bit here. We're calling our backend API, and these are two different responsibilities. We need to separate the part that is responsible for the view from the part that is responsible for data access. Plus, it's better to extract this JavaScript code and put it in a separate JavaScript file. So in the second part of this course, I'm going to dedicate one section on refactoring JavaScript code. Unfortunately, in this part, I can't spend more time on this because our focus is on ASP.NET MVC and not on client-side development. And there are still quite a few other aspects of MVC framework that I need to talk about. So I think this code is okay for now. Let's move on to the next topic.